Hi! In this video I am going to show you from scratch how I use flash memory as a replacement for EEPROMs and I'll give you 6 reasons why. EEPROMs are great for storing data and code that needs to be present immediately after power up. I've built this computer here from scratch for example. It uses 3 EEPROMs to store its operating system as well as the microcode for the CPU instructions. In the early days of ROM or read-only memory, content was hard-coded during manufacturing. Soon PROMs followed, with the P standing for one-time programmable. And then EPROMs, where E means erasable, usually involving a UV light source. Finally, we have been blessed with EEPROMs, where the EE means electrically erasable. Now that sounds convenient, but it remains a rather slow and inefficient and therefore costly process during production. Enter flash EEPROMs, or in short flash, offering much faster erase and write times and greatly increased memory size. Nowadays flash is the dominant and therefore cheapest non-volatile memory type wherever a significant amount of solid state storage is required. In my previous video I have introduced my DIY programmer for this 8K parallel EEPROM 8028C64. Parallel here means data and address bits are transferred simultaneously via lots of different pins, hence the large footprint. These USB sticks on the other hand transfer data serially, one bit at a time, which is not so useful for certain projects. So today let's use this parallel flash chip instead and see how that goes. So here's a comparison between the two ICs I'm talking about. While both offer parallel data access, the flash offers about 16 times more memory compared to the EEPROM. Also the access time is way shorter with the flash. Another advantage of the flash is the much lower supply current with only 10 milliamps. Both devices offer about 10,000 write cycles, but the flash seems to have the larger data retention time. The biggest point for me is the price tag. The flash memory, while offering 16 times more memory, costs only one third of the EEPROM. And last but not least, the byte write time is much shorter with the flash memory. 20 microseconds is 50 times faster than the almost 1 millisecond with the EEPROM. So to sum up, we've got 6 good reasons to use flash instead of EEPROMs. So far for my projects, I can't really see any reason not to use flash in the future. The pinout looks almost identical to our EEPROM. We have power and ground, the usual write enable, output enable and chip enable control lines and the address and data lines. I really don't want to bother you with the programming details here. The main difference in programming these flash ICs is that they offer a higher level of security against accidentally erasing or overwriting your data. With EEPROMs this could happen during power up, since writing is controlled by just one single line. Flash ICs on the other hand use these more complex programming instructions. An instruction consists of a combination of address and data bytes clocked in by the rising edge of the write enable signal. Furthermore we need to keep in mind that flash needs to be actively erased to the one state, at least blockwise, before writing data to it. This is because a zero always stays a zero upon multiple writes. You can't program a zero back to a one. Other than that, this flash can be byte programmed just like our EEPROM. I am using this chip erase function to bring all the bits to the one state. Here is the schematic of my DIY flash programmer. It looks a bit more complicated than the EEPROM version, but that's only due to the additional address lines. And this is how my actual build looks like. If you prefer using jumper wires, it'll work just as good, of course. I have already uploaded the Flash Programmer's Arduino sketch into this uh, little Arduino Nano here. I have written a little front end called prom.exe that reads in a binary image and writes it to the Flash. In my last video I've used this 8K image containing this hello world message. Let's reuse it here. This time I can show you the programming in real time. Remember, with the EEPROM this took a whole minute. Wow, now that's what I call convenient. Let's type prom-r test to read back the content of the flash into a file. Ok, and there you have our message again. So for me, I think it's time to say bye bye EEPROMs and hello flash memory. And this is it for today. As always, 
The links to my project files are in the description below. Take care. Bye.